오늘은 지난번 비디오에 이어서 간략한 문법, 파티클을 하나 더 배워볼 건데요. 지난번에 우리가 에서를 배웠잖아요. 오늘은 이제 에, 에를 배워보도록 하겠습니다. Um, it's a continuous lesson from our previous video. We learned 에서, 에서, which is a particle to use um, which is used to indicate where the action takes place. And today we're going to learn another particle, which is E, E. And then this is it. Okay, here you can see E, E. It's also used with place noun. Place noun, just like ESO, ESO. But E is used with ITA or OPTA to indicate the existence existence in or at a place and also e is used in sentences with kata or oda which means to go and to come come back so in this case e is used to indicate the destination destination so i prepared one example here 한국에 가요. 한국에 가요. Which means I'm going to Korea. 가요, 가다. So here with 에, you can see the destination 한국. 한국. 한국에 가요. Or if you say 한국에 있어요. 한국에 있어요. Then it means it's in Korea. It is in Korea. So, this particle E is used to indicate the existence or the destination. That's the difference between ESO and E. ESO lets you know of the place where the verb action takes place, and E lets you know of the existence or destination. Okay. Uh, well, thank you for watching me again and see you in the next video. Bye.